No more night studies, Mama. Hey. Mama, I'm ready. I'm ready, Mama. I'm ready. Hey. Nice. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Do you know what's happening? This, this is a camp. Nobody gives us this kind of food. Though. Oh, buddy. This is called homemade food. Mama, I miss your food. Mm. Son, mm -hmm. all hope is not lost. Mama. You always say that to me. I remember those days. It was this particular statement that encouraged me in achieving what I am today. I wouldn't have reached where I am today if not for you, Mama. My father was down and devastated. His only surviving brother suddenly became a tyrant and took everything that belongs to us. The only sister I have got married to a lunatic who engaged in serving some illegal activities and his family turned against my sister and killed her with frustration. Worst of it all, they drove away her little kids, poor little innocent kids. When Papa died, I thought it was the end of the world. I thought our lives were over. But Mama, you took it upon yourself. You struggled through depression and agony to see me through school. You did everything humanly possible to see that we survived. Honestly, Mama, it's incredible. I still don't believe how you did it. 
but I am looking for the day that I will show you my appreciation. Son, this is not a time to talk about appreciation. When it's time for you to appreciate me, I will let you know. For now, what we should be thinking about is getting a job. I don't know what you're planning as per getting yourself a job. Um, Mama, I have this friend of mine who has a friend who has a connection to a construction firm in Port Harcourt. I, I don't understand. Mama, don't worry. You have done your part. And I'm ready for the struggle of the labor market. Hmm. The Lord is your strength. Amen. Chukukute. Amen. Finish your food. Oh, join me now. I don't want to. Hmm? I've eaten. Thank mm. you. Hello. Hello. It is not going to be easy. Out there, there's so much going on. But you know, I've always taught you one thing. Believe in your faith. It's not by our power, neither is it by our might, but by the special grace of God. And then you believe in yourself. And everything will happen well. That's true, Mama. Secondly, you know, as a mother, I have done a lot for you. <laughs> you always try to be a man, trying to handle situations on your own. That is okay. That is how to be a man eventually. But I'm still to do a lot for you. As you go to the city, it won't be easy. But I beg you, if there's any problem, any situation that you cannot handle, just reach out to me, your mother, and together we can solve the problem. Oh, mom. Mama, it's all right. Hmm? We've been through a lot in this house. True. There won't be any more problem. Amen. I will go to the city, and I believe I will find a decent job to do. I believe so, too. Go in peace, eh? Start going home. I don't want you to do late journey. Oh, mom. Are we, mama? I love you so much, Mama. And I love you too. Oh? Okay, I'm so crying. I'm not crying. I'm not crying. Tony, take care of. Hi, did I take much of your time? Something like that. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I, you should know that I am the human resource manager of my company. And it's my right to keep the statistics of my company resource I, and the equilibrium. Um, you know, our production capacity normally fluctuates. Hmm. It's all right. I get it. Lots of things to take care of. Hmm. How much does this job pay you anyway? <laughs> well, Barbara, it pays me real good. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Funny you. Anyways, we're here now. Can we proceed? Fine, let's go. Thank you. 
What? Is there anything the matter? I understand myself. Things don't have to be this way. And I know it's been long, but I can just sit back and fold our arms while we at least have a way out. Uh, I know I know it's not your fault that you've not gotten a job. It's the situation of the country. This country is not stable. But that doesn't mean you have to sit down and fold your arms and keep waiting for employment. You need to do something for yourself. You're not getting any longer. And I feel for you right now exactly what you are asking for. But I think we have a way out. 
There's something I am arranging for you, but you need to come home. So we can talk about it. It's not something to be discussed over the phone. Come on, let's work this out together. Okay? Looking forward to seeing. I'm really sorry about this, sir. Uh, I perfectly understand how you feel. But don't forget that your wife was in a physical condition before you brought her. And so what? And so fucking what? Were you not the same doctor I met here the last time I checked in? The last time I checked, doctor, she was very sound and revived. And now you are telling me to just believe this story that the pregnant wife whom I brought in this hospital is dead. This is unbelievable. Sorry, you got to calm down. Calm down? Uh, calm down and calm, calm down for what? What am I coming down for, doctor? What am I coming down? I, 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 at this moment, I'm, I, I, I'm sorry to say this, doctor. I'm beginning to doubt your competence in medical practices. And doctor, you know what? I am going to verify what happened to my wife. I promise you that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hello, sir. Listen, there's a problem. What is it? Sir is a woman's husband. He doesn't feel good about this. And are you going to allow him to quit his sin? Considering the kind of money I pay you for your services. Only you? Listen to me, um, Dr. Martins. You have always kept to the deal from the very beginning that we met. So I do not expect you to chicken out now. Gather the stuff from the woman and send them to me. Do you understand me? You don't have any cause to panic. If the man bent on creating a scene, you know what to do. All right, sir. We got the items. Good. Show me the it. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Change, you're still looking the same. Mama. Turn around, let me Mama, see. Mama, look at me now. Hey, hey, Mama. Mama. How was your journey? Mama, my journey was fine. Thank God. I don't do well. You go, but Tabano, let's all go inside. Let's all go inside. Hey! Um, Mama, I am here now. So, what are the arrangements you said you made for me? Um. I made arrangements to borrow money from that your father's friend, Mansoso. Do, do you remember him? Wait, Mama. 
Are you talking about also the money lender? Exactly. No, mama, no now. Why will you go to that to, to that man? <sighs> People are saying a lot of ugly things about him. And personally, I'm not comfortable with him, let alone having something to do with him. I understand, Tony. I just feel compelled to do this for you. You are my son. And I love you so much. It pains me when I see you suffer. Eh? It, it, it causes high blood pressure for me. I, I can't take it. I can't watch and, you know, see you suffer. No, it's not possible. So it's better that I borrow this money. I don't want to die of hyper... I, I uh, no, 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 Mama, 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 please. Don't say that, don't say that. You will never die before your time. Amen. You will live to see your great grandchildren. Amen and amen. Uh, please stop, stop, stop saying that. You are scaring me by, by, by those, those words. Please don't be. Uh, okay, Mama. So, how much are we talking about? Uh, it's not much. You just uh, two hundred and fifty thousand naira. What, Mama? Two hundred and fifty thousand naira. Yes, now it's not. It's not too much. <sighs> I mean, that's the kind of money you need if you want to start off a business in the city. Mama, I'm talking about how to pay the money back. <laughs> you shouldn't worry about that. You're talking to the woman that single-handedly saw you through school. Do not worry about the money. I will pay back that money without stress. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mama, okay. Okay, Mama. <laughs> what did you use as a collector? To collect that money. I know my also will never give you that huge amount of money without a collector. Mama, I hope it's not that little piece of land that Papa left for us before he died that you use. Tony, stop troubling your head. Ha! You have forgotten that the person we are talking about here is the woman that trained you through school without anyone's help. As for this one, it is a small matter. I will continue to pay until I'm done with paying. <laughs> uh, it's all right, Mama, if, if you say so. Uh, secondly, I met, um, uh, um, you know that your friend, Matthew? You remember Matthew? Matthew? I met his mother. She said Matthew is doing so well in the city now. Yes, his business is booming. He's into buying and selling of uh, second-hand goods. Even though he has not been to the village for a long time, but I can get his phone number from his mother. We'll call him so that uh, he can help you out in business. I'll put you through. No? Mama, <laughs> Mama, Mama, <laughs> Mama, yes. you are such an amazing woman. Uh, you are the best mother anyone could ever dream, dream of. That is because I have a good son. You know what, Mama? What? I will never disappoint you. I will collect that money, go to the city, Invest it and make good use of the money, and I will come back here and make you proud. <laughs> yes, that's why I don't have a choice than to give you the best that I can. Nemo, Mama, you're a good planner, <laughs> no. you're a master planner. Well, enough of business now. It's time to eat because since you came back, you've not eaten. Should I ask them to bring the food out, or should we go inside for you? To Mama, tell them to bring it here. Do you know what we have for you, Mama? Okay. Uh -oh. So, do you really want to do this? Do you really think someone is behind this? Look. I am getting a whole lot of pressure to involve the police in this. But I think I should verify this by myself first. Doctor, this is my wife. This is my woman we're talking about. I love her. I really feel for her. I am having this feeling that something is not going well with her. Please, Doctor. Don't let this get worse than it is, please. I beg you. All right, then. You can go.
Hello, sir. Dr. Martins. Okay, I just got to let you know that I have requirements now. Oh, how is the woman's husband doing? I took care of him. I see. Um, I will send my men to pick up the items. Alright, sir. You two take care of yourself, okay? <clears throat> Alright. The Baron. Business. Hey! Mm. That is good news, Carl. Uh, I think it's good news. Nah, so I thought this is so many area like this. I just say make I just pack around small with a mango feet, achieve. Now I must see one small bunny like As that. As in, pala. Yeah, else they, they work out, they go. I call you from far, you know. I'm born like Christian one or two, if you all love matter. Now I must see and bring out in Kappa from pocket. It's like, say, they fly down and they talk or service. Oh, okay, no. I go from far side now, but the Kappa shower. They get called the loose guy. They all like, they do one or two. I know anybody who loose guy, left the three to four cup. They might go drive the bunny. Collect the bunny, Kappa. Now, new Kappa. So you call any You trust me now. Marcia. Marcia. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Splendor. Senior man. Splendor. No, Baba. Splendor. Execution. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, I just want to follow. So, no. oh, Baba. So uh, you don't arrange this one now? Uh? Everything, everything done the set. Okay. You see you can't save, I try and throw away. No, sir. When God <laughs> creates people, create them for you, say, go into the world and multiply. <laughs> they go church. Now, when he creates you, finish, he say, splendor. Go into the world. Allah, Allah. That's the Bible say those that deserve to lose God drive them their car. When they go to when they go to this on the school now. Don't be honest. That's the book of Deuteronomy chapter ninety nine. I did tell you. Nah, pastor go fit you. I go church now. Why well, be my body the whole to number one? Why be my body the whole? What could do now? Oh, God, come on, do the song. What's it on the devil? No more option than food. I bought the whole. No man, long days. Hey, you got the answer for you, boy. Hello, hello, is that Matthew? Who is this? Matthew, this is your brother, Tony. Tonero! Hey! Tone my man! Ah, ah! Tone have fun now! Uh. It's been a while! Yeah, it's me, Matthew. It's me. Well, ah, man, it's good to hear, you, hear your voice now. It's been years. Have fun now. Uh. How is life? Yeah, Matthew. Matthew. Um, I actually got your number from your mom. Yeah, um, Matthew, there's something I would like to discuss with you. Something very important. And uh, what could that be? I learned you are now into buying and selling of clothes. A large quantity. Uh, I will be coming to Lagos, so I would like you to put me through. Exactly, that's what I do now. I do uh, business with clothes and all that. There's money, there is money I'm expecting, but, uh, and I hope the money will be enough for me to start. So, like, how much are we talking about here? We're talking uh, about 250000 now. <laughs> what? <laughs> 250 Well, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, that's okay. Uh, 250000 is enough to start a business, but... Uh, I'll be traveling to Togo on uh, Friday, precisely, yes. So, if you want to uh, do business with me, you will have to come over maybe on Thursday before I travel on Friday. 
you know, I normally stay maybe three months in to my business before I come back. So if you can't make it now, that means uh, you have to wait for the next three months for me to come back so you come back to Lagos. What? Well, um, that's how I run my business. You will have to meet me up on Thursday so we can travel together to go on Friday. Uh, but if you can't meet up, that means you will have to wait for me to come back and that will be in three months' time. No, 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 no. Much no, I, I can't wait, I can't wait. Don't name my man! It's been a while. Yeah, no. But... Hey! Senior man. So there are 50,000. They told her they chop your sins. I don't ever want to bring me come on board all this while. Guy! It's a hundred and fifty. Give me the magadon four. It's a magadon four. Oh no, God. Hey, check me out now. See ya. I'll buy Balenciaga. Too long. Two it. No. I may pronounce that figure. You know, you know, that's not that, isn't it? You like to this is your phone, the dream good luck, Sha. You know, I'm not going to kick off. Yeah, let me go see now. Let me drop my time now. I drop my time. My body is hot now. Mosquito no devil now. See, this is my name, Matthew. Wow. I'm not me write the book of Matthew. You know what place I'm right? Matthew chapter 29. Sorry, 39. Yes, something. I've one put down verse 15. Every collecting man could collect. You don't go to church. You don't go to church. You don't go to church. Every collecting man could collect. I will tell you, you don't go to church. Man, first confess, confess. You know, sir. You know, sir. Uh, mm -hmm. And the reason people from my villa say, I sell clothes. Why? You sell clothes now? Because I did that. As a matter of being now, we say, my villa. Come help me distribute the dog. As he, eh? DSTV, ITV, my TV, Go TV, EBS, and you know that guy AIT. I they tell you. But the thing we say, now my guy, I was. I they be now, nigga. I no send. I no send. I see the money I go chop on. Wait to, wait. If they try tell me say, eh? The move we want for now. Now your own person. Your village person. Mm. Oh, blood. God. The blood don't dry be that now. Now, my brother, that no miss a no job. You can move go for a guy man job. What? Street door. You can have me so. Move go for a guy man job. I see being now, eh? I go chop the bar. Oh. I'm being a very good friend. Very good friend, though. May his soul rest in peace. Amen. But I'll give you this money without collateral. Hmm? But you have to pay back. Hmm? I don't pluck money from the trees. Okay? You pay I give people money and receive little interest. As you can see, I started this business to help people. Because I know people need help. So you have to pay back. Hmm? So, uh, when do you say you are traveling? Anytime, sir. Uh, as soon as I get the money. But I have to hurry up because my friend said he will be traveling to Togo on Friday. So I need to get the money so that I will join him in his travel. Mm. So I don't mind even if I get the money now. Okay. You said you are traveling on Friday? Yes, sir. And today is Tuesday? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. The money is not here now. Hmm? I have a very important meeting to attend. You come back on uh, Wednesday evening so that you collect the money and pick up the money. Hmm? <laughs> Thank you, Master. Yeah, Thank you, sir. Yes. Sir, I, I really appreciate it. Oh, ah. May God continue to bless you. Oh. Yeah, this one of my very close friends. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Yes. I started this business to help people. Uh, God, you continue to bless you. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. Your mother, my elder sister, loved me so much. And she also cared for me before she died. So in return, I promise to take care of her children. 
And that promise is something I must surely keep. So I want you to know wherever you are, anywhere I go today, that I, your uncle, loves you so much. And I will do anything to prove it. I will be going to collect some money from someone this evening. And first thing tomorrow morning, I will be leaving for Lagos to join a friend in a business. Once I get to Lagos and settle down, I will come back to pick you to Lagos and also put you in good school. But first, you have to promise me something. Uncle, what is that? You have to promise me that both of you will be good children to Mama. Oh, Uncle, I promise. What about you, Esther? I promise to. That's my angel. Um, you know what? Um, go and get me something to eat. <laughs> Eliza and her son. Nine. <laughs> Tony, Tony. Nine. That's the money. Two hundred and fifty thousand naira. Hmm. Thank you, sir. Like I said yesterday, no interest, no collateral. Just pay back the money at their good time. No problem, sir. I will not disappoint you, sir. Thank you, sir. May God continue to bless you for everything that we do for the poor people in this village. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, sir. Thank <laughs> Just you. Go. I will make you proud, sir. Go. go very early in the morning. Meet up with your friends. Go and join your business, eh? All right, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right, sir. Bye. God bless you, sir. It's all right. Bye. Goodbye. I can see you need help. Why don't you come let me take you to the hospital? Hospital? Oh, thank God. Oh, God bless you. It's okay, it's okay. It's fine. Let's go. Look, you make
Everybody remember wherever you are. Don't mess up. Come on, go down. Come on, go down. Don't waste my time. Let me have the money. I don't have any money. Okay. Okay. I don't have any money. I don't have any money. Okay. Where's the money? I don't have any money. Come on, where's the money? I don't have any money. We get the money before we kill you. I don't have any money. Don't. I don't have any money. Let me have the money now, or you use it. I don't have any money. I don't have any money. I don't have any money. Check my bag, Jagger. Check my bag. I don't have any money. What's your name? Check my bag. I don't have any money. Put up. Put up. I don't have any money. 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 Hello, sir. Are you sure this guy is having this money here? What do you mean? Have I given you wrong information before? We have threatened him enough, but you don't want to bring out the money. That means you have not threatened him harder. He has that money right there with him. You have to threaten him harder if you want that money. No mistakes, eh? Put this up, put this up. I have the money now. Okay, I don't have any money. Can I have the money now? I don't have any money. You want to lose your life? I don't have any money. See my bag, I don't have any money. Don't joke with me! I don't have any money, see my bag. I don't have any money, see my bag. Where's the money? I don't have any money. 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 Let's go. I don't have any money. 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 Hey! Never. Never. Please come, driver come. Please, get me my money. Money? That's my money inside the booth, driver. Check my money inside. You have money here? And you allow them to shoot you? Driver, you will not understand. Oh. Driver, my life depends on that money. My life. Oh, check my money, check my money. Oh, my money. Check my money, check my money. Oh, my oh, money. Oh, my oh, money. Oh, my God. You won't understand what I want to do with that money. That money is my life. Oh, that money is my life. Oh. Oh, driver, give me my money, driver. 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 Oh, my oh, 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 Mazi, Mazi, I love my father. I love my father. Hey, what is it, woman? You know that money? Yes. That money you lent my son and I. Uh -huh. Did you mention it to anybody? What do you mean? See, my son just called me now. Mm -hmm. He was on his way back to the city. And armed robbers attacked them. Mm -hmm. They wanted to take the money from him, but he told them he didn't have the money. He hid the money and refused to release the money. Mm -hmm. And they shot him twice on the leg. What? So what I want to know is if you mention this thing to anybody, so I'll know where the ill wind is coming from. I'm on your one. Eh? Let me get you straight, Eliza. Yes. Are you trying to say that I know something about the arm robbery attack on your son? No, no, I never said that. Except you're telling me that you, you, you do know something. But that's what you're insinuating. No, no, no. So you're trying to tell me that I sent arm robbers to collect back the money from is, your is son? Is that what you did? Eh? Is that what you did? So, Eliza, you are telling me that I sent arm robbers to attack your son? No, no, no. Oh, no, I have so much regretted giving you my money. 
you and your son came to me for help and i offered same yes and now you are telling me that i sent arm robbers to attack your son now listen if you think that it's a way for you not to pay back my money you must be lying to yourself you better return my money as soon as possible if you don't pay back my money you see what i'll do to you i've known people like you that they are very ungrateful nonsense <laughs> What should I do now? What should I do now? Hey. This is where I need you Yeah? I need you to relax. Okay? Yeah? Hey. Hi! Hi! Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry. Understand? You understand? Hey. What do you mean? This is your stubbornness that you started from secondary school. So you still carried it to this your old age. Eh? What would you have said if, if these people had shot you in the other part, or vital part of your body? Ah, uh, Mati. That money there is as good as my life. The money is as good as my life. I have to do everything to secure the money. So you value money now more than your life. Eh? Did you forget that these boys, they, they are trigger happy. I'm telling you the truth. If you take that money, they have taken my life now. What are you talking about? Ah! Oh. Hi! Tell me. They take, if they take the money, they've taken your life. Huh? Eh? What if what if they have shot your head or, 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 or here? Like this? You would have died. And they will still take the money. It's That's the bad thing. It's better. Don't no, no, forget to, to, to take that money. That money is my life, Matthew. That money is my life. Matthew, please. Please. To the hospital, please. The pain is too much. This pain is unbearable. I can't take you to the hospital now. Hey, he's late. He's late, late. Don't join your leg to get that. See, don't you separate your leg. Separate it. The pain is too much. Okay, I understand. But, but how come there's no shooting another person in that bus? It's only you. That, that, that. How come? But you. I am still suspecting Chief also. The man that gave me this money, I am still suspecting him because the way the robbers concentrated on, on me as if they knew I was with that money. But that man, that man knows what happened to me. He knows. Yeah, man, you don't have to suspect people like that. Hi. You don't discriminate. Some of them say they use you. They use you. Juju. You, you. What? Yeah. Make it your hospital. My leg is pain. This, this pain is too much. Here first. This area is bad though. I cannot take you to the hospital now. The hospital is very far from here. Eh? Hi. Mm -hmm. Hi. Eh, see, see what I will do. Eh, there's one woman that, that used to sell the uh, Amaya. They used to sell medicine. I'll go to, to, to her shop. That's if she's still around. I'll get you one. Eh? If, not for, if not for that good Samaritan that gave me some house. The blood was too much, don't you? That was yeah. my time. Uh -huh. I placed some house on my legs. If not for that, that was my time by now. I don't know what I would have. I want to take you to the hospital, hey, hey, please. Hey, relax. Oh. This place is bad. This our area is bad. Now, just few people that survive this area. Relax, it's late already. Eh? And the thing is, see you bringing us some black, black blood. Mm. And Mr. Police is still inside. Eh? Relax. Let me go and then. Uh, let me go and buy this. Let me go and have more. If I smell your perfume, I don't smoke you with that. I don't smoke you with that. Where's the money? Where's the money? There's no money. 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 There's no I'm 
They will die one after the other. Just imagine. Eh? Hey. So my money is gone. So the, my money is gone. Not like that. Uh, uh, gone. Eh, 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 leave the money. The money is not important. Your life first. Eh, please. See, you need to calm down. Let me, let me go and call. Um, look for Keke. Or, or Kada. Anyone that will take you to the hospital. So that they will attend to the wound. See. Lord. Hey. No, I don't have my money. I look at my legs. Look at my leg. Uh, <laughs> the leg is important. You I would have stayed back in the village. Oh, why did I come to Lagos in the first place? Oh. It's never late. Eh? <laughs> Just hold it. Let me go. Oh. Uh, the crime is affecting my mind. Oh. 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 Just come here. <laughs> take, take, take money. Out of us. No. I don't have my money. I don't have. Look at my leg. Where did I come to Lagos? Why did I come to Lagos? You see, my brother, I stayed. I stayed it back in the village. My mom. Why? That you use the son of a man. Uh, that bastard. So you are one of his criminal friends. Huh? Okay. Aren't you? Huh? No. Uh, uh, Shut up your mouth. Uh, oh, okay. Take him to the station. Oh, 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 Turn the Matthew, that's a nine verse twelve. Every collect, collect must be collect. The army, every collect, collect must be collect. Yes, Mahola. Yes, Mahola, Mahola. With the banner. I ain't hola, bro. I ain't hola. Complete everything in that. Mm -hmm. So like this now, nah, boss. I went to Chris there. Go find one or two shirts, but I go use for the night. So go throw me my own verse. It's up to seconds. My boss, my uh, oh, daddy. No, no, now you do just come on board. Now you won't call you mad. So what are you now? No, what come on, come on, with us, the mad. He's a dog. He's a dog, guys. He's a dog. No, say regularity is not about how tested you are. How you are. You know, say, even before I come on board, I don't dare the streets. Not you. No reason, I'm boss. No I hear me all again, I'm toxic. That's where I was supposed to talk. And my sweat with this. I don't want to call her story. You do this in well now. You do this in well now. I can't say no talk. No, calm down. 
Zoetos, come on, Zoeto, Zoeto. Be one, be one, no need to die. Oh, throw me, throw me spark. Enough of that greetings, woman. Where is my money? Mazi, give us this money barely a week ago. Just give, give us time. Give me time. I will pay. Enough! Enough of that rubbish! Enough! Don't expect me to take it lightly with you. After what you have accused me of at my house, I am beginning to find it very difficult to tolerate you, Eliza. And make sure my money is ready. If I come back here and my money is not ready, you won't like what I'll do to you. No, sir. If I had a fool, I don't even know where to start. If I had a fool, I don't even know where to start. Hello, doctor. Hello, sir. How is your work? Work is fine, sir. Good. So where are we on the initial tracks? I'm right on schedule, sir. Good. I'll need to hex up your game these days. Hmm? A lot is happening. And I also learned that um, two women were admitted to the hospital recently. You are right, sir. You need anything with them. I want their babies and their pretender inclusive. Wow. Oh. I'm sorry, sir. But I think we're detecting a disagree with this job. We are taking a lot of things down at a spot these days. And that would possibly bring us to light. And you know it. Most of these women, sir, their husband normally requests for their placenta. And when we can provide it, how do we explain to them? Sir, I think if we need to be on top of this game, then we have to make consciousness one of our fundamental principles. We don't want to get educated, sir. That is Dr. Martins talking. Listen to me, Dr. Martins. I can see that you suddenly want to develop a conflict towards this own business. And if I leave you unchecked, you will one day want to screw me up. Before you do that, I will definitely school you before you ever think of it. Yes. So, you are taking this too far. We need to be on the same spot. Whatever, I don't care. I want you to know that, as far as this game is concerned, I remain the master. And I'm at the head of all the affairs. So don't you ever think of acting anything funny. Because you're not fighting funny. Do I make this appear?
Listen, Mas is coming. If he acts off me, tell him I've come to the market. Where's your mother? Are you deaf? I said, where's your mother? She's not she's not at home, sir. Where did she go to? She went to the market, sir. She went to the market. <laughs> Whenever she comes back, tell her that she should not play with fire or tempt a separate bite. Have I made myself clear? What a wine, can What a wine, Internationally, spending radically, money necessary, supernaturally. Oh no, Ebal. I didn't give them the Ebal. Oh, Ebal. I didn't give them the Ebal. The body na Ebal. Dio, 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 Dio. Hello, gentlemen. Good day, sister. Yeah, good day. I can see you need help. Why don't you hop and let me take you to the hospital? Hospital? You heard me. Thank you so much. It's okay. Call it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Just, just come in. I'm sorry. Eh? Sorry about what? Uh, my wound. It's my so bad. I was supposed to go to the hospital, but I was not having any money with me. It's it's okay. It's fine. Uh, I understand. I've met worse. Huh? Yes, I have. It's fine. So we can go, right? Okay. <laughs> See the way she did roll. 
Look at the way that she moves. See the way she did it all. I see the dress. Hi. Hello. You are awake? Yeah. Oh. I didn't want to bother you when they brought you in. But I can see you are doing well now. So, can we talk? Yeah. Okay. Um, what actually happened to you? Well, as you can see, it was a bullet shot. We were attacked by some arm robbers on our way to Lagos. They looted everyone in the bus, but I didn't have anything to give to them. So they shot me. Oh my word. That was heartless. Well, I'm happy for you. Thank God you are recovering. And also thank God it did not affect your bone. It's okay. I guess it was my fate. It's okay. You are getting better. Thank you. <laughs> so what's your name? My name is Angela. Wow. Angela. Beautiful name. Thank you. I'm Tony. I already know. Really? Yes. Um, what about the lady that brought you? What about her? No, I'm just asking if she's your sister or girlfriend or fiance or whatever. None of the above. She's just someone that saw me suffering and was touched and decided to help me. Wow. A benefactor, I guess. Yeah, something like that. I see. <laughs> Once again, I am happy for you. At least you can walk. It didn't affect your bone. <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> Good. <laughs> That's that. Good morning. I hope you slept well. Mama, I had a dream. Esther, the dream. So what did you dream about last time? It was Uncle Tony. What, what happened in the dream? I saw Uncle Tony in my dream. He was lying very lonely by the roadside. Everywhere was dark and he was crying. Tony was crying in the dream. Mm -hmm. Everywhere was dark mm -hmm. and Tony was crying in the dream. Hi. Esther, mm -hmm. get me my phone. Hello? Tony, how are you? Tony, Esther had a terrible dream about you last night. 
I am. I need you to be prayerful. She said she saw you on the roadside, all alone in the dark, crying. It's not a good sign. And you know, usually her dreams come true. You, you need to pray about this. Immense yourself in the Lord. Please, just keep praying. I too will be praying for you from here. Please, just keep praying, okay? All right. Take care. Thank you so much for all your efforts. You are wonderful. You are welcome. Hope to see you again. Me too. Okay. Yeah. Take good care of you.
Oh, look at you. Good morning. How was your night? Fine. I slept like a baby. I guess so. All right, then, why don't you go up, freshen up, and come back here to the table? We have somewhere to go in a minute. All right. I'll be back. Why are you alone in this mighty house? Alone? Who said I am living alone? I have my security now living with me. You saw him. Come on, Barbara. That's not what I mean. I mean your loved ones. Your family. Your kids. Your boyfriend. <laughs> you know what I mean? Tony, don't worry. You get to know more about me when the time is right. Well, all I'm trying to say is that it's not right for a, a beautiful young lady like you to stay all alone in this house. That is too massive. I am not Tony. Um, Barbara, where are you taking me to? I want to show you something. Where is that thing? Be quiet. Let's get there first. I'm oh, sorry. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> Baba. Obviously, you've been anxious to know my intentions. Where is this? Yeah. What for? These are the keys to this house. And this is a khaki 
packed inside this compound. Have it. Barbara, oh my God. You bought me a car and a house? Oh my God. Barbara! Come on, have it. Open it. Open it. Barbara. It's your house. Pablo, you like it? I love it. You do. I love it, Barbara. This is my car. Oh, Abra. Abra, you didn't tell me about this. You keep surprising me. I thought you saw this. I cannot believe you. This is your living room. In there, you have four bedrooms, a kitchen, a toilet, and a guest apartment. Here is your ATM card. Take it. You can have it. The pin number is 2285. Withdraw from it and spend as much as you like. Barbara, why are you throwing me off balance? When life itself is not even balanced. Barbara, I don't even know how to thank you, honestly. Oh. Oh, but don't worry, we'll talk about that later. Enjoy your new home. I'm on my way. Barbara! Give me my baby. Give me my baby. No, Jesus. Give me my baby.
Look at you. One week later and you have changed completely. How impressive. You look great. Absolutely. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you. You made it possible. I owe you unquantified gratitude for all you have done for me. <laughs> it's nothing. Sit. Thank Let you. me fix you something. All right. Yeah. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. You have something to tell me. Actually, Barbara, I came for us to discuss, and it's very, very important. What is it? And um, Barbara, you've done wonderfully well for me. Thank you very much. You saw me suffering. Picked me up and faced me. Someone that was wandering in the streets without nothing, all of a sudden started living a luxurious life. All thanks to you. But deep within me, I still feel that it is not yet complete. There is something still missing. And that's why I came to discuss with you. Tony. What really are you driving at? Barbara, when I checked my account and saw the money you lodged there, the money you left at my disposal, it's 40 million naira. Barbara, that is enough money. A lot of money. I can't just be wasting this money. I can't just be spending anyhow. I need to invest. I want to multiply it. Barbara, I'm thinking of going into importation business. I want to become a full-time businessman. That's a very good voice of reasoning. You're a smart guy. Thank you. I like that. But I don't want you to invest. It's not yet time. How did you mean? Tony, with time, everything will fold. I gave you that money to spend and not to invest in any business. I know this may sound confusing to you, but I do not need you to ask me any question. This is an split order. 
which you must act accordingly. But, but Barbara, what about the man I told you I was owing in the village? Tony, forget about your debt for now. We will settle that later. Barbara, this man is on my mother's neck. Hmm? I understand. But leave that for now. Okay? All right, Barbara. If you insist, I will do exactly as you wished. But I also came to tell you that I will soon be traveling to my village to see my mother and my two sisters. Esther and Sharon. And I would like to come back with them to the city. This is a promise I've made to them. And as their uncle, I would like to fulfill it. Hmm. Tony, you put a lot of things into consideration. And I like you for that. In fact, I would love to meet your Esther and Sharon. Thank you. Don't worry, drink up. Everything will fall in place. All right, all right. Mama, you're looking Sister, good. Good so to see are you. Changed. You have changed, Joe. Mama. Hey! You're wearing canvas. Mama. So turn around. Let me do it. Mama. Hey! I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Come in with it. Mama, forget about the car for now. Eh? Hey. I just want to be fair. Let's go. Ahead. You did not tell me you bought the car. Mama. Jeep, for that matter. Mama, forget about the car. Hey! Let's go and rest, Mama. Mama. Let's go and show you that same car that you. Let's go inside. Hey! Mama! Nah! I'm going to So, Mama, that is it, oh. This lady saw me and liked me and took great interest in me. Mama, you need to see this lady. She's a very nice person. Well, I'm sure someday I will meet her. Of course, Mama. Um, huh. by the way, this uh, money we're owing last year, so what are we saying about it? When are we going to pay back? Uh, Mama, like I told you, I am yet to start business. Hi. But don't worry. This lady has promised to set up something for me. My main reason of coming down to this village is to take Esther and Sharon back to the city. I don't really like them growing up in this village. But as for the money we are owing, man, say also. Don't worry. As soon as it really fits me, I will come back and pay this. What brought you here? Good morning, sir. I said, what brought you here? Are you now with my money? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I got your money. Yes. Uh, but I um, I didn't bring everything. I bought 50,000 naira. My son gave it to me before he went back to the city yesterday. 
I never knew you were senseless. Eh? I never knew that you were senseless. You are stupid and, 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 and foolish. How much did I give to your son? What I gave your son is 250,000 naira and not 50,000. I, I, I will pay it back gradually. Shut up and get out of my sight, please. Are you seeing this face? Huh? What kind of woman is this? And make sure the money is complete before you come back here again. Nonsense. What kind of woman is this? Oh, sweet love. How are you? I'm okay. Just lonely, unlike you. And after good afternoon. Afternoon, beautifuls. Um, hello, girls. Meet my special friend, my best friend, my one and only, Barbara. Barbara, meet my nieces, Esther mm. and Sarah. Beautiful nieces you have here. Thank you. So, how are you guys doing? We are fine, Nancy. Your uncle has told me so much about you girls, and I was looking forward to meet you both. I guess you both are enjoying your new home, right? Um, I would want to distract you from your game. I need a little favor from you girls. I want to take you out for shopping. So go in, get dressed, and let's go. Sorry, Auntie. What's the shop? <laughs> it's fine. Um, I mean, I want to spend some time with you girls.
So, tell me more about them. They are my elder sister's children. The only sister I ever had. Her marriage was messed up. She got married to the wrong person. Her husband's family forced her to death. Hmm. That's pathetic. Yeah. They rejected Esther and Sharon. What does it matter? They rejected them. You accepted them. Life goes on. Yeah, you're right. I want to make sure I give them a good life. That is the promise I made to my sister. Then it is your job to fulfill your promise. That's why I'm working hard. Where the hell am I? What am I doing in those people? <laughs> Esther! Sharon! Esther, Esther! Esther, wake up! Sharon! Wake up! Sharon, wake up! Wake up! No, I don't know. I just woke up and saw us here. Come, 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 let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I don't know, I don't I'm tired. I'm getting tired now. Where is our house? Um, don't, don't worry, girls. We'll soon get to the house. We'll soon get there. Don't worry, when you get to we'll take our bath. My good is wet. You shower when we get to we'll soon be there now. Okay.
Nico a mí los... Believe me, Keith. I am as confused as you are. I have absolutely no idea of what is going on. I've been trying to get us home, but it seems I can't. The only thing I can remember is that we slept in our beautiful house, only to wake up in a very dirty environment on an unknown street. And ever since then, I can't find the way to our house. What are we going to do now? now? What are we going to do? I'm very, very hungry. I'm very, honestly, very hungry. Honestly, I don't have any idea. But I'm trying to figure it out. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. It's okay. We'll soon find our way. Uh, good afternoon, madam. Yeah, we have to. Uh, madam, please don't be offended. Uh, my younger sisters are very hungry. Uh, but I don't have any money to buy them food. Okay. Please, I don't know if you can help me with little money so I can at least buy them something to eat. Okay, no problem. All right, all right, I will help you. <sighs> okay, you can have it. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, no God bless you. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> Tony. Barbara. Barbara, thank God you are here. Something is not going right. Honestly, it's like everything you gave to me is gone. Gone? Yes. I woke up this morning to find myself sleeping in the dustbin with my, my little sisters. And ever since then, I've been trying to find the way to my house, but I can't. Well, I don't know. It's all right. Get into the car. Let's talk. Come on. But, well, where is this place? It's all right, Tony. Get into the car. Hey, kids. Get in. That's not. Shut up. Go, go, go. Oh, no, thank you, girl. Yeah. Okay. Hey, coming. Ah, where are these kids? Come inside. It's okay, it's fine. Make yourself comfortable, okay? Barbara, what the hell is going on? 
come and slept in the house with my younger ones. Only for us to wake up and find ourselves sleeping outside the dirty street. We couldn't even locate our way. Tell me, have I been dreaming or something? Hey kids, why don't you go inside? There's a PlayStation for you girls. Go in, have fun. Go. Do you know your way? Just go through this way. And Tony. To the answer to your question. No. You are not dreaming. Everything happening is happening in real. What is real? Baba, tell me what is real? And how come everything you gave to me suddenly disappeared? Why don't you have your seats? We have a lot to talk about. Sit. You see, there's something very important you need to know. Something very important I need to tell you. But I don't know if you're ready. What is it? Um, actually, I belong to a very powerful fraternity referred to as a Zima family. Mm -hmm. But the God referred to as Great Azima. You see, our ultimate goal is to be very rich, influential, famous, and they will give us protection. But there's one important thing you have to do to become a member. You have to undergo a very crucial ritual. And in return, they will make you rich. They will make you famous. They will protect you. But it will cost you something, something almost priceless. Tony, I belong to that family. And I want to bring you in. Oh my God, Barbara. So this is it, the house and every other thing you give to me. So this is the intention. Barbara, why didn't you tell me? But I'm telling you now. No, you are not. You are trying to lure me in. Well, that's the way you see it. The real truth is, I already know you before now. How do you mean? You see, I have met you before now. Yes. I met you in my dream. I saw you. You were suffering. You were wounded on your legs. You were begging people for help. And then I came. I came and picked you up exactly the same spot. And when I woke up, it was a dream. I told my grandmaster. 
and he revealed everything to me. You see, Tony, we know everything about you. We know about your past, your present, your destiny belong to us. So you see, you do not have any other option. No, I have an option. I have a choice. Oh my God. Barbara, I can't believe you are the one telling me this. Is this really who you are? Yes, Tony. This is who I am. I belong to the Asima family. You see, the family I belong to, I give them what they want, and in return, they made me very rich, powerful, and influential. Barbara, if I may ask, what exactly did you give to them? Come, I want to show you something. Tony, I want you to come. what the fraternity is all about. Sacrifices and offerings. Who is this guy? He was my boyfriend. But now, I use him as bait. Hey Tony, you do not have to judge me until you know who I really am. As a young girl, I suffered hell. A girl like me did not deserve the things I went through. It was cruel and inhuman. Thank you. But it toughened me up. It made me jump into every opportunity in life. Tony, if 
Faith is a very powerful phenomenon. It will always decide our lives for us. It practically keeps us choiceless. In my case, you do not have to blame me. Fate made me who I am. Yes. But I knew what I was going into. I was prepared for it. I completely killed my conscience. You see, I live in this big mansion all by myself because I have no family. In fact, the Azima family is the only family I have. I am happy. I get it. But what about the house, the car, and every other thing you give to me? What about them? Well, I did that because I want you to feel and taste the difference between wealth and poverty. You see, you've lived almost all your life suffering. But I made you test wealth for only one week. And now, everything is gone. And you are always running mad. You want everything back. That is to tell you, ah, uh, irresistible money can be. It is very powerful that we cannot live without it. <sighs> I want to help you. That is your only shot. You can't live the rest of your life hoping. No. You can't take those kids back to the streets. There's nothing coming up for you there. There's no hope out there. Stop hoping, Tony. It is time to act. Barbara, I've heard you, but I'm not interested. This is not me. Barbara, I've heard stories of people built the same involved with all this, and in the end, turn back to hunt them. That is not life, Barbara. Not for me. I can't associate myself with some demonic stuff. Never. It is not me. Anyways, thank you for everything. But I'm not interested. <laughs> On three, one, two. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's Tony, come back here. There is no hope for you out there. Good evening, man of God. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Uh, please, sir, I need your help. And what can I do for you? Sir, I don't know if you can help us provide shelter in your church. These are my younger ones. 
we have been roaming the streets this morning looking for help honestly i'm tired i don't even know what to do again please can we just manage here this night um young man listen there's nothing i can do for you i'm sorry this is a newly established ministry i did not establish it for homeless people to come and seek refuge here if you need the help i suggest you look for it outside i know but please sir for the sake of god help us we don't have anywhere else I said I cannot help you. Young man, are you deaf? You cannot help us. But you call yourself a man of God. I wonder what you are telling your members. Young man, please don't insult me. Glorify yourself, you will reap all. I want to make sure everything is complete. Alright. Forward your account for your payment. Alright. Okay? Wait down, man. Go in there and bring out everything. Take it easy now. I'm not sure you Listen, woman. I am claiming this house for the 250000 your son owes me. And I will not let you in there until you pay me back my money. If I come back here and find you in there, I'll make sure I'll keep you in a place where you never see the sky again. Read my lips. Mas, Have I made myself clear? Mas, yes, sir, please. Let's go. Mas, Let's go. Mas, Mas, Go from here. Hello, mother. Where are you? Your mother is in trouble. Mama, what is the problem? This chief also. He came to the house with two young men and 
They threw me out of the house and locked me out. What? Why would he do a thing like that? So we have been forgotten that we owe him money. Mama, so what? And so what, Mama? Let me just go and bring it to money. What? Give me the money. Come to my father's house. I can take you away. And I'm outside and it's raining. It's so lonely and cold. Mama, I will come back and leave the world to someone. I swear, Mama, I'm not scared, Mama. You will come out of hell, buddy. Mama, I will deal with him. I will deal with him, Mama. I don't know what to do. I know they are coming. Let them in. I am ready. Good. Come with me, kids. to go. Blessed be the name of the great Azima. Who pledge our letters to the great mother Asima, Ahuha. Humble children of the great mother Azima, I welcome you once again to the bosom. But because of our honest love for us, we do not strive with the fortunes that evade man. Let us drink from the water that unites the family before we prepare to present. Mm. 
Now you can step forward and present your offerings. Great Mother of Zim. Great Mother Azima. Awu. Ah.
your sacrifices are accepted before the great mother Azima. someone to introduce to the family. Yes, Grand Master. Bring him forth now. Before I proceed, I want to be sure that your friend Barbara filled you in on the consequences of what will befall if you lapse in your obligations. Yes, Dr. Master. Good. Well, that means that you are ready to embark on the journey of fortune. This place is actually the place where privileges abound. Our mother, Great Azima, is ready to help you with your hard desires. But before that, you have to swear to an allegiance and loyalty to the great mother Azima. Now go on your knees. Close your eyes and raise up your hands. Heal your conscience. In three days, you will undergo a ritual that will prepare you to visit the great mother Azima. Only she will reveal to you the sacrifices you have to make to appease her. You girls worry too much. All right, I'll tell you. There is this very big friend of mine. Mm -hmm. He's a very big business investor. Mm -hmm. He came into town and I introduced him to your uncle. Wow. And guess what? Your uncle is going to be a very big investor as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. They traveled out of town. And let's say mm, they'll be out of town for a few days. And before you know it, they are back. Uh, mm -hmm. But, Auntie, um, Uncle Tony didn't tell us before he left. Oh, he did not? Mm -mm. Sharon, you worry too much. Your uncle did not tell you because he doesn't want you to worry about things like that. Okay? Mm. But don't worry. By the time your uncle is back, he's going to come back with plenty money mm. and he will get you a big house mm. and mm. fleets of cars. Mm. Cars? And, yes. And a lot of goodies. Don't I you like want cream. that? Ah. Like ice cream. <laughs> you okay. like ice cream but so I, much. We are going to buy us chocolates too. Mm. We'll buy you plenty of chocolates. Mm. <laughs> okay. Don't you like that? Mm. Of course like you it. do. <laughs> All right then. Let's go fix something. I'm hungry. Mm. Okay. Mm. Let's go to the you just have to be patient. Okay. You have as much ice cream as you want. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the family of Fortune Tony. It's three days now. Your initiation is done. You are now qualified to visit our great mother Azima in her sanctum. And there she will tell you what is required of you. Now, get up. What must I do to have the privilege that revolve around the riches of the great mother? You are to bring three little babies. All of them must be three days old. As your heart desire, great mother. Are you okay? What is it? Not a bad dream. What is it about? It's Uncle Tony. Yes. Two masquerades were chasing him on a dark path. And then he fell to the ground and the masquerade almost killed him. What? Yes. 
What kind of dream is that? Oh no, it was so strange. This is actually the first time I'm having this kind of dream. I'm so scared for Uncle Tony. It's okay, it's okay, come. Eh? You don't have to be scared. It's, it's just a dream, okay? It's just a dream. Hmm? Your uncle is fine. It's just a dream. It's just a dream. You're back to life now. Okay? okay. It's okay, sweetie. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Good day, sir. Congratulations. Yes. Yes. Um, thank you, doctor. Yeah. Um, Dr. Badivu, uh, it's my pleasure to hear the good news. Yes. How is she and the little man doing? Ah, they are okay. They are fine. Really? In fact, the, the little man is looking forward to meeting his father. To see me? Yes. Really? Yes. In fact, let's, let's go. Okay. Now. Yes. <laughs> ah. Honey, how are you holding up? You look tired. That's good. I thank God that you delivered safely. They're doing better than you. They're enjoying themselves somewhere in town. With who? With one of my men. I asked him to take them for shopping. Obviously, Barbara, you are spoiling those children. And you know it. <laughs> Don't you think they deserve it? You will even do better than me when your life turns around. So tell me, how did it go? 
I know you are here for your first assignment. Yeah. Tough one. I was required to bring three little babies. All of them. Three days old. Will you help me? <sighs> well, Tony, you know, I will always want to be there for you. But at this point, I am sorry. I can't help you. Any assignment from the Great Mother is a personal tax. You have to fight your own race. And when you win, the reward is yours alone. Ahu, ah, ahu, ah, ahu, ah. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. I can see you know are doing good. Thank you, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, well, I'm here on a brief visit to share the word of God with you and also pray for your patience. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Okay, sir, you can follow me. Well, it's my pleasure to be with you here today. My name is Pastor David from Freeborn Chapel. But before I continue, I would like to know your names. So, madam. My name is Cynthia. And your baby, how old is your baby? My baby is two days old. Two days? Yes. Wow, this giant. Yes. Like mother, like daughter. Wow. And you, madam? I'm Samantha. My baby is also two days old. Two days? What a wonderful coincidence. Yes, sir. You mean both of you get back the same day? Yes. Our Lord is good. Our Lord is, Our Lord is always good. Yes, um, well, uh, before I leave, um, I, I would like us to share our testimonies. That is, if we have any. So, madam? I hope I took care of the testimony. Alright, go on, go on. I had a problem with fibroid. This ailment obstructed me for almost six years. I even thought it would never go away, but I believe that there is God and He's always in control. By His power, I was healed, and now I have a baby. Hallelujah! Amen. The Lord is good. Amen. Yes, you know the Bible in the book of Exodus chapter twenty-three verse twenty-six says that there shall be no barrenness in the land of the Hebrew. Yes. It is not your portion that you are going to be barren, Amen. and this is just the beginning of your blessing because I hope that this. Child here, we will bring more children to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And you, madam? Well, I was without a child for 13 good years. Mm. I almost lost hope. Mm. Go on, go on, go on. You have a reason. Go on. Honestly, it was like hell for being without a child for 13 solid years. 
Many doctors we visited couldn't dictate the problem we had. We almost lost hope. But I thank God today, I'm holding my baby. Hallelujah. You see, the Bible said that those that trust in the Lord shall be stronger and they shall do exploits. Yes. Uh, this is just what the Lord can do. And by special grace, I believe that by this time next year, you have another baby. Oh. <laughs> but twins. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord is good. All the time. So I'll be taking my leave now. I'll be coming uh, from time to time to visit you in your houses. So um, before I leave, uh, let me see your other lady. We okay. just put the bed. Yes, many of them. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. See you. Bye. Oh, Barra, you're going to go. Oh, Jimmy. I'm just as confused as everyone here. I'm just trying to understand what is happening. How can this be, doctor? How the hell did this happen? How could three babies missing in your hospital? What really went wrong, doctor? Calm down, sir. Um, I and my staffs, we were busy with patients as usual. Before we know, there was power outage in the building. And before we could rectify it, things started popping off. Doctor, can you hear yourself? You mean you don't have security in your hospital? People are just coming in and going out anyhow. This is a hospital for crying out loud. People come in here for medical intentions. We can't put our expectations on negative each time. Oh, you want to tell that to these grieving women here? Obviously, you don't know what it means for one to lose their babies. Let alone some innocent babies. We have waited so long for this child. Just in three days, he's no more. Doctor, I'm running crazy, doctor. But, hold on, sir. You are a senior detective in the police force. You can start off in the investigations immediately. And we can give you clues and help. Did any strange person visit here yesterday? Any at all? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> and I've not visited here yesterday. <laughs> Together and share testimonies. <laughs> A man of God? Yes, sir. What is the name of his church? Uh, he called it Freeborn. Freeborn Chapel, sir. Yeah, exactly. Freeborn Chapel. That is what he called it, sir. Freeborn Chapel? Yes, sir. Did he drop anything? I mean, something like. Invitation or flyers or whatever. No, he didn't. <laughs> but there is something he did here when he came yesterday. What did he do? Tell me. <laughs> he requested about the age of our baby. 
And now, those are three days old and missing, including our own. This is becoming suspicious to me now. Please, I need you to give me a good description of this man. Something is really wrong. Time to present your offering, Tony. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Great mother of Azima. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Are the three heads of the babies there? Yes, Grandmaster. Oh, my God. 
Is the right joy in staring at me? I can't get enough of it. Really? Yeah, I can't just get enough of it. <laughs> Please tell me. I'm curious. I want to know how did you make it this big? Knowing you initially and now, there's a huge difference. So tell me, how did it happen? Honestly, all thanks to Barbara. Yeah, Barbara. She fits me up. She introduced me to this big businessman. And with the help of my little intelligence, like said in the law of business, create your own customer base first. Yeah. So I assume you followed the law. Yeah, exactly. I was made the sole distributor of a particular merchandise. You don't say. Angela, it was like monopolizing an entire business empire all to myself. Oh my god! This is so, so impressive. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow. I'm happy for you. Angela, hmm? can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. Can I take you home tonight? <laughs> uh, Tony, if I get it correctly, you're trying to say you want to take me to your bed. Honestly, Angela, if I have the powers to keep you in my bed forever, believe me, I will be the happiest man ever. <laughs> But you don't need powers to do it. Just say it. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank 
cool. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. Hey. You're all set to go? Yes. <laughs> okay. I'll see you later in the day. Hmm? Safe, eh? Yeah. You too. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Bye. Hello, Tony. Hello, Mom. How are you? I'm very fine, Mom. And how are you over there? Well, you know how it is here now. I'm, I'm under stress. Eh? I, I'm trying to settle our debt. By the way, I've not heard from you in a long while. Oh, give me a mess. I'm sorry, Mom. I've been very busy of late. Uh -huh. Busy doing what? What are you doing now? I am managing a little business for my friend. Is it that your lady friend called Vabu? Yeah. Yeah, mother. Uh, Mom. Uh, I want you to forget about the money we are owing to Pozo. I will pay him tomorrow. You will pay him the money tomorrow morning? Yes, I have some money here with me now. Hi, hey, Nambiko. Just hurry up and pay him. I cannot wait to get my house back, please. I'll do that, man. And uh, a, a little something. Oh. If you have just a little something, can you send that across to me? Because I am very broke. I understand. I'll try. Thank you. Uh -huh. How are my grandchildren? I have really missed them. Okay, can I see Ami Obuna greet everybody for me? Oh, I will, Mom. Oh, thank you. I'm waiting, Arunze. God bless you. Bye bye, Mom. Hey! Ah! Now I can breathe. Chai! Oh, you book a book for me, fam. This load is finally off my shoulder. Men can be very wicked. So Chief Ozo actually gave me money and sent Amrabas to collect it back from me. And they even shot me on my leg. Matthew. Matthew, my own brother. After all I went through, you set me up and sent armed robbers, your friends, to come and collect my money. <laughs> we shall see. Hello, Chief Ozo. Yes, who am I speaking with? Chief Ozo, you're speaking with Tony. Are you ready to pay back my money now? I guess that was the reason you drove my mother away. Yeah, I didn't just push her out. I also told her not to come to that house until my money is being paid. Chief Ozo, you didn't even bother how she feels, where she is or what she's doing right now. Why should I care? When what I got from your ungrateful mother is accusations and the insults. You gave me money and also sent Ambrobas to collect the money back from me. And they have the courts to shoot me. You know you cannot deny it. They have already showed me. They? Who are they? Chief Ozo, never mind. Send me your account details immediately. All right. I am waiting. I'll do your job.
Ahu, ah. Ahu, ah. Ahu, ah. <laughs> Tie this boy. Hello? Did you just send 500,000 naira? Why don't you go now and unlock my father's house and tell my mother to go back home? <laughs> All right, I'll do just that immediately. Consider it done. Huh? <laughs> 500,000. This is the guy. Okay. His name is Matthew. You have the address already. Yes, boss. Make sure you bring him here to me. Okay, boss. You can go now. Matthew. Matthew. Who you be now? <laughs> Your presence is needed somewhere. As God, I'll be with him. My presence is needed as God. Who you be, oh guy? They tell me say wait the All you need to do is just to do as I say. I don't think so. Sit down, you will give me a drink now. You come up and sit here. I know why they keep quiet though. But this thing with your waist, I know why they keep quiet though. I tell you here, yeah. someone will attend to you soon. Huh? You heard me. 
nonsense. They wear white and white, and you know that and, 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 and I less, uh, nonsense. Have you house white, colors white? Hey. Matthew, Matthew, welcome to my home. Hey. Hey. Matthew, welcome to my world. This is password. This is my Jerusalem. Hey. Matthew, sit down. Eh? Sit down. No, no, the, the chair too soft. No, 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 no. Matthew, sit down. Hey. Hey. Hey, I trusted you. Naturally, naturally. You were supposed to be my brother. Hi. But you and your friends planned and took away my money. Despite all I went through, you saw my condition. I almost lost my life from those armed robbers. Trying to keep the same money you took away. Matthew, okay. you betrayed me. Uh, you were supposed to be my brother, Matthew. Not true, not true. Not true. And you are here trying to beg me. Please, please forgive me. We are still brothers, please forgive me. Please. Matthew, hmm? that money you stole changed my life. Hi. You turned me into something else. I was left with no option. And suddenly, I found someone who offered me a solution. I have no choice than to go with it. Mm. Matthew, I am who I am today because of you. And you stand here to beg me for forgiveness. I will never forgive you. I press the battle. So just don't say that, please. Don't say that. We are still brothers, please. Don't forget to this is Billy Joe. Please forgive me. I beg you with God, please. Oh shut up! Yeah? Did I hear you say God? Don't you ever mention that name again because you don't know him. Hi. You are wicked and evil. Tony, please. I beg. Please. Please forgive Such me. Such is life. Hi. One good turn. Deserves another. Hey! I told you this is a devil go. One day, bring my leg, come and say, Nice, yeah. The person caught if my 200 might be this guy's house. I beg, please forgive me, bros. I beg. Yeah, please. Mm. Friends, please. Uh, mm -hmm. Your friend. Okay. Hey. 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 So what do I owe this visit? I brought you an offer. But I don't know if it will fit in the plan.
follow me. Perfectly. <laughs> that was actually the criminal who stole my money. Hmm. I guess so. If I had go, if I had go. Being so happy these days. <laughs> because for two days now, we have been happy. <laughs> we eat large. Mm -hmm. Did you win jackpot <laughs> or something? Tell me. <laughs> like a jackpot. <laughs> <laughs> Do you still remember that money? Eliza and her son owe me. Yes, I remember. 250,000 naira. Exactly. What happened? <laughs> the boy paid me back some days ago. Eh? <laughs> he didn't just pay. Eh? He doubled it. You mean it? 500,000. Wow! 500,000! <laughs> God! Hey! Thank you, Jesus. Eh? 500,000. <laughs> Upon what you did to the wonder. They knew now. They knew I did them some good favor. If not, why would you pay me 500000 instead of 250000 I lent to them? Hmm? He knew I did them a huge favor. That's why he's trying to show his appreciation. Uh, it's not good now. <laughs> hey! It's not good. He's showing his appreciation. Hey! Change into your casuals and come down so we can eat, okay? 
I'll be waiting for you okay. girls. So be fast about it. <laughs> Why are you not eating your food? What is it? I'm scared, Auntie. You are scared? Why? What happened? I heard the cry of a baby this morning in our room. And not quite long ago, I heard it again. The cry of a baby? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Maybe it's from our neighborhood. Not in this house. No, Auntie. I know what I'm saying. The voice, it was so real. It was like, it was in our room. Okay, there's no problem. Just eat your food, okay? I will sit with that. Huh? Eat. So honey, yes, love. I'm considering visiting a brighter store in China. I heard their product is the best for now. No way. How can they be the best? When we have countries like England, Italy, Germany. In fact, let me show you some designs I browsed out. <laughs> let me show you. You see those design, you see? Wow. <laughs> I told you. This is beautiful. Huh? Did you hear that? Heard what? The cry of babies. Which babies? Where? Esther complained about the same thing. Esther complained about what? The cry of babies in this house. No, that can't be possible. I have been living in this house before you all came, and there is nothing like that. Maybe it's from our neighbors. Neighbors? Okay, maybe. Maybe. Um, so, <laughs> I'll show you. Mm -hmm. See, look at this one. <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> what about this one? Wow! <laughs> no, 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 I will take you to the hospital. Get it back here!
Chief. No, Chief. Hey. Hey. Chief. Hey. Chief. Chief. Oh, my God. Oh. Chief, Chief. Chief. Chief, Chief, please don't go. Chief. No, she is not. See, honey, we need your mother in this house. This is our first child. My mom is dead, that's why she's not here. But since your mother is alive, let her come. What is happening? What is going on? Please. Honey, don't start. Don't just start. This is my house for crying out loud. And whenever I make a decision, I expect you to be cool with it. Are you for real? Be cool with it? Yes. Honey, please. I need your mother in this house. Please! Is that not your baby crying? My baby. Go up and check on her. It wasn't my baby crying. Something is obviously not right in this house. Why the cry of invisible babies in this house? Why? I don't know. You don't know? Oh my God. Oh. Honey. Tony, the first time you came to this place, we made it known to you those things that will implicate you. One of them is conscience. We do not tolerate conscience here. That is the first rule of this family. That's why we told you to kill your conscience when you were being initiated. We told you about your first assignment. You were determined to do it because you had no choice. But after that, you had great remorse about killing the three babies. And then you started finding it difficult to give your mother money because you don't want her to be part of this. 
because you think it's not right. All that is conscience, Tony. That is what is killing you now. And as long as you continue with that, your membership of this family is inauthentic and you will continue to have problems. Grandmaster, I realize all that. But we have to put a stop to it because it is getting out of hand. Everyone in my house is troubled. And the woman I married is a very sensitive woman. She's beginning to suspect me and I don't want to get implicated. All I want to do is to live in peace and pretend as if nothing ever happened. The great mother Azema knows the value of mercy. She will always give her children a second chance. You will present your little niece for cleansing and total liberation from your turmoil. What? Esther? Yes, Esther. That's the only choice you have. Besides, I see great spiritual potentials in that girl. She will be trouble for you in future. So, bring her for spiritual cleansing of your entirety. Oh. What is it? Where are you going? I'm sorry, madam. I'm leaving. I can't stay in this house anymore. You are leaving? What is the problem? Ma, I don't think I'm safe in this house anymore. The cries, the little babies, they come every now and then, and now they appeared in that room. The, the, the what? I saw them, three little babies. What about my child? She's in her court, ma'am. Tony. Hello, Tony. Hello, Barbara. What the hell is going on? I have done everything they asked me to do, yet nothing is happening. I have sacrificed my little niece, and yet the situation is getting worse. <laughs> I understand your predicament, Tony. But I do not think I am the right person you should be talking to right now. You already know how things play in our circle. Listen, if your problem still continues after sacrificing Esther, then I don't think you've done the right thing. Tony, I told you this from the beginning. You are not ready to dance to the tune of your conscience. Barbara, you need to help me. Please. My house is no longer a home. Everything is turning upside down. I wish I could, Tony, but I'm sorry. You just have to play along. There is no going back.
Hello, Mom. Hello, Tony. How are you? I'm fine. We are okay. It's been a while now. Not bothered to get in touch with your mother. Um, I'm sorry, Mom. I've been stressed up lately. Are you okay? No, I, I, are you sick or something? What, what is the problem? Uh, mother, there is something I want to tell you, but I don't just know how to say it. You don't know how to say it? No. Find a way to say it. There must be a way to say it, because now you have got me bothered. You've gotten me worried. What is it? I want to tell you that Esther is dead. <laughs> Dead? How? When? I mean, why? Hey! What happened? Mom, she slept about two days ago. And when we woke up in the morning, we find her dead. Hey, Mom, Mama, take it easy. Take it easy, Mom. Take it easy. I love that girl. Eh? Okay. Hi. Oh, God. God, God. Why didn't you take me? Oh, okay. Where, where is our body now? Uh, um, I buried it. You have what? You have buried her? No, 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 no. Wait, Tony. Tony, please wait. She was sick. You didn't call me. She died. You didn't to bury her body. What are you talking about, Tony? How could you? Tony, how could you? You know how much I love that girl. Are you trying to tell me I will not see Esther's corpse? Is that what you're saying? I'm sorry, Mom. Just that I didn't know how you were going to take it when I, when I bring back her corpse home. I, I'm just trying to make sure that nothing happens to you. You know how much I love you. I, I thought I was doing the right thing. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Mom. How can you be thinking, Tony? How can you be thinking? What would I get to think? Tony, you come, you have finished me. Tony, you have killed me. Hey! How? How? Esther, one more. Hey, one Hey, Jesus.
I am scared. Three babies just appeared from nowhere. I'm confused. I don't know what to do. My child. I don't know. But please, you, you just need to help me, please, please. Since when have you been married to your husband? Um, for more than a year now. How much do you? Know? Look around you, Tony. Everyone you see here has been in alliance with the great mother Asima for many years. Right from the time of their initiation till date. They have allowed peace to reign in their hearts because they know they had to do what they did for life to move on. But then we are prepared to settle for it. So why are you different? So different, Tony. Why can't you make peace with yourself and enjoy the fortune of our great mother, Azima? like every other member of this family is enjoying. Why would you give way for guilt to overwhelm you? Listen to me, Tony. Whatsoever you are suffering now, you brought upon yourself. We can only help you the way we can. But you have to try harder. Because if you continue, your miseries will torment you you are doomed by it and that woman you kept in your home has to be very careful she almost stepped beyond her bounds the other day but I took care of it um, Grandmaster please forgive her she was just scared don't hurt her Grandmaster she is the love of my life that is what is killing you, Tony, your heart. Have no love for anyone and you will be a free man. Now tell me, Tony, are you ready for your agony to come to an end? Grandmaster, what do we do? The head of your little baby is requested. Ah Is that your little baby? Yes, Grandmaster. Good. Stand up.
What is okay? My baby is gone! My baby is gone! Something has happened. What happened? What, what, what did you just say? I've accomplished it. You know, this project took me a life portion. That is the truth. But I will not forget a brother, a bosom friend who made it possible. Because he actually introduced me to a man in Scotland who gave me the project of millions and billions that I achieved in lots. Afungwa Elotana. You are a brother, you are a friend. You are everything. Because without you, that contract wouldn't have been granted. Thank you, and I must give it to you. Oh, God. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm not going to do But remember, Akani, Wakeba, Akeba, Akopa Akani. Welcome to my war of our four one. Okay, to so the family. To so the family. Thank you. All right, notwithstanding, I want to use this video to also invite the members of the family to the opening of this great hotel of mine. But I first and foremost, I want to seek the the approval of the family for the name of this hotel. 
The name I want to give to this my hotel is Baron World Hotel. You love it? <laughs> to the family. Nice, nice. To the family. To the family. Yeah. That's, that's impressive. I've already known that you will be a very powerful investor. That's what I did. Nice one. Thank you. Nice one. Thank you. Thank you. I'm from where I'm from. I am happy today, for real. Thank you. 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 So Tony, how are you holding up? I'm good. I'm good. Great. Um, nonetheless, I was wondering, um, why have you not put your money into something real? You see, everyone around here, they have a um, business empire, different places in the country. And I remember you told me some time ago that you want to be a very big business investor. I mean, I could see the ambition burning fiercely in your eyes then. So what happened? Okay. I tell you what. Why don't you um, travel outside the country? invest in a brand in your name ship it back into this country or better still go into um, shipping or uh, some other stuff like construction or oil and gas you know i can give you a great deal you know and you know the sweet thing about this whole thing is that as long as you are in the azimo family you will have undeniable access to all these things. So what do you think about it? Um, well, uh, Barbara, if all you just said now is true, then I think I'll give it a try. I'm going to invest money into all these businesses you have mentioned. Hmm. And let's see how it goes. Wow, nice one. Your choice. Now, yeah. Let's marry. Okay. Oh, Jimmy, 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 oh, Jimmy,
that pertains to this family. Keep your mind at rest, Tony. You are almost there. Now, let us drink from the water that unites the family.
Mari yang ngom. Mari. My dear husband, I'm sorry that I have to drop you this heartbreaking note. It is with a heart full of burden that I am writing to you. You are a loving, kind-hearted man. I have always prayed to God to have a husband like you. But these mysterious things that we experienced lately is beginning to get beyond my powers. It's beginning to look like something is obviously going wrong and I am scared. I love you, Tony, but it is beginning to occur to me like I don't even know who you are. So I'm sorry that our marriage had to end this way. I just hope you'll find peace with yourself for my sudden departure and for this misery you are going through. I know exactly how painful it is that someone you love had to desert you at this time of trouble. But you have to understand that it wasn't easy for me either. I wanted to stay and fight through this with you. But something tells me that I may not survive it. So I had no choice than to run for my dear life. Please, do not bother to look for me because I'm gone and never coming back. Just move on with your life. Just love, Angela. the Grand Master has done so far are all manipulations to make your conscience free. It's not an intention to hurt you. You see, our loved ones makes us vulnerable. They are our weak points. Tony, Angela is gone. And so be it. Personally, I assume it's a fresh start for you. Barbara, I loved her. And you know it. We were married. But well, she's gone. She saw things that scared her. If you were in her shoe, what would you have done? Forget it, Tony. A big dog now. Man. You can always get bitches anywhere in the world. There are plenty of them. My manager told me you need me to meet. Yeah. So, I hope I'm gonna be well paid. Of course, of course. Wow. You look banging in that dress. Really? Thank you. So, um, how about we go into club first? Um, uh, okay, I don't mind. So, shall we?
are you running? There are ghosts in your room. Ghosts? Yes, there are ghosts in your room. Little children. They are dead, they are dead. You know what? I'm gone. Go in there and see for yourself. Master, they keep appearing to anyone that comes close to me. Scaring them away. Does it mean that I'm going to live my entire life in loneliness? Please, Grandmaster. Master. Help me. Help me, Grandmaster. Master. I can't continue like this. I just can't. Tony, I suggest you lie low for some time. Things work differently for different people. Give it some time. Your misery will surely come to an end. Sharon! 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 Sasha!
Please, stop. Sharon, please. Please don't kill me. Please have mercy on me. Please, please, I beg you, please. Please have please. Please have mercy on me, please have mercy. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Please. Remember me, uncle. Remember me, uncle, please. Hey, please, 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 please. Grandmaster, they make me sleepless. They appear to me every now and then. They whip me with care as if they want to torment me to death. I don't know what else to do. I've done everything you asked me to do so that this thing will stop. And yet, it is not working. I am confused. Why is my own case different among every member of this family? I don't want to start thinking that I made a mistake to join this family. You did already, Tony. I see much guilt in you. Your heart is darkened with regret. There is only one way out. And that is an ultimate price to be paid by you. Which price, Grandmaster? Your mother. No! I will never sacrifice my mother. I am ready to sacrifice anything else, but not my mother. You have no choice, Tony. It's your mother. No! I will never sacrifice my mother. Take me instead. But as for my mother, leave her out of this.
Hey, Tony. I'm trying to make this right for you. You have to listen to me. We are running out of time. Come, let's fix this. No, Barbara. I will never come back. I will not. This stupid thing might be working for you. But honestly, it's not working for me. And I have realized that. And I have decided to quit. Yes. You can have your cars. Your houses. The money. Everything. I don't care anymore. What matters to me now is my life. You don't have a choice, Tony. You belong to the family now. No! I don't belong to your stupid family. A family that cannot provide shelter for each member is not a family. A family that do not care about each member is not a family. I love my mother so much. She matters to me and for no reason will I sacrifice her. Never! I will not do that. Listen, Barbara, for what it wants, I will never do that. You all can go to hell. I don't know you anymore. It is a lost cause. He revealed to me how you sold your soul to the devil. He showed me how the Lord you into some barbaric acts. I saw some little babies crying. I saw two girls. Pastor, you are right. I killed those babies. I only killed the two girls. As a matter of fact, they are my nieces. I use them for blood sacrifices. Pastor, honestly, I don't know if God will ever forgive me for all I have done. I don't just know. They have made your world very dark, Tony. You need to be redeemed. You need to be totally saved from all these powers of evil I see revolving around you. But before you can be able to do that, as a task you must embark on first. Pastor, I incurred this to myself. And I'm ready to do anything to atone for all my sins. Whatever. Tony. You need to go for confession. Confession? Yes. Proverbs 28 verse 13 says, He that covereth his sins shall not prosper. But whosoever confesses and forsakes them shall have mercy. Tony, confessing your sin is the only way out. Those babies you killed, you need to go to their parents and confess. Pastor, that will be suicidal. It's like taking my own life. How can I face the parents of those babies? The mothers of those children suffered for so many years before they could have those babies. 
I don't know how to face them. And besides, I don't think they will ever forgive me. Tony, if God can forgive us our sins, no matter how deep and ugly it seems to be, then who is man about to forgive you? I know it's a very serious task you are about to embark on, but that's the only way out, Tony. That's the only way you can be saved, Tony. So you have to go and get prepared. I am not interested in conceding defeat. Tony must pay for his mess. We will strike and strike and strike him till he falls. I don't care wherever he runs to or whoever he runs to for safety. Baron. Grandmaster. Barbara. Grandmaster. I put two of you in charge of this. You must pursue Tony. Stop him from everywhere he wants to hide. Tony must die. Grandmaster. Good afternoon, Pastor. Uh -huh. Are you ready? Yes, Pastor. What's the name of that hospital again? El Jonah Memorial Hospital. Okay. Let's go to my dad. City of Salvation Church of God. Without any delay, Doctor, I would quickly like to acquaint you with the reason we are here. Doctor, believe me, I hate to remind you of this. Actually, something happened here, a tragedy happened here about a year ago. And what type of tragedy is that? Good. Three little babies were stolen from here by a known man. Yeah, that's true, Pastor. Well, Doctor, I came to see if you can help us establish contact with the parents of these babies. I myself here and my brother here will have something to tell them. Alright, Pastor. Hold on. Maybe call them. I'll get in touch with them. That'll be fine. Alright. Thank you. Appreciate all your efforts. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Well, I am Pastor Samuel, the founder of City of Salvation Church of God. My visiting here today is of great importance. Actually, something happened here recently. Something that is beyond, in fact, almost beyond explanation. But I know that the power of God is at work. This young man here has something to disclose to you all. And I hope that after hearing him out, you all rise up above the past and move on. Don't. Please can we hear you out now. Considering the testimonies you all gave that particular day, I know I have caused you all a lot of pain. The pain I have caused you is immeasurable. Those babies were like treasures to you all. But I took them away. Yeah. 
I have come to seek for your forgiveness and also to confess my sins. Even though I don't deserve them. But please, in the name of God, kindly forgive me. This forgiveness means a lot to me. My entire life depends on it. Pastor. No! You can never go unpunished. Never. I prayed for the foot of the womb for some years. I cried day and night. And when God finally gave me one, you took her away from me. And you think I will forgive you? Since then I have not been able to conceive. I will only forgive if you provide my baby. I never. You, you just think that you can just come and bring a man of God. And you just come here and ask him for forgiveness. Everything will become all right, eh? No, man, you need to bring my baby. Mm. You think you can just send people's children like that and then expect forgiveness all of a sudden, eh? You think like that, eh? <laughs> Young man, you are finished. You will rot in jail. No, 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 no. As a matter of fact, I want you to know, you are your pastor to know that this matter is still seriously under investigation. From here, straight to cell. From cell to court. From court, I will make sure I do What? Leave me alone! Please take it as my friend. Please take it as my friend. Please, 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 no forgiveness. Please, please, please. No forgiveness. Please, madam, calm down. Please, calm down. I, I, I'm, I'm okay. What's going on? Please talk to me. I am Pastor Sam. Okay. And I accompanied your son down here because he has a confession to make. Confession, confession about what? Don't worry, madam. Please, can we have a seat? Please. please. Of course. <laughs> Mama, I don't even know how to beg for your forgiveness. I don't think I deserve it, Mama. What is it that you've done that you're asking for my forgiveness? What is there to forgive? I want you to understand that I did terrible things. 
that I'm not supposed to do. You're making me nervous. So what is it that you've done? Mama, that lady, Barbara. Yes? The one I told you about. Yes, Barbara, yes, what? I thought she was a good person. I thought she was God said. I never knew she was an agent of the devil. They used her to lure me into a very powerful occultic group which she belongs to. So, did you go with her? Mama. She pretended like she was helping me. But all of a sudden, everything she gave to me disappeared. Mama, I was frustrated with Esther and Sharon. We were roaming in the streets day and night. No food, no shelter. Mama, could you believe that that particular day you called me and told me what my daughter did to you? Mama, I and Sharon and Esther, we are under the rain. Mama, the situation I find myself made me to lose my faith. I lost hope. Mama, joining the courtship group was not even the problem. They made me sacrifice human blood. Ah! No, 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 it's not possible. No, it's not possible. You, Tony, you can never do that. It's not possible. Mama, I did it. Mm -mm. I, I killed. Hi! I sacrificed three babies. Hey! I also sacrificed Esther and my little baby. Come on! Ha! No! No! It's not Mama. possible! Mama, please. Mama, please forgive me! Mama, please forgive me! You killed my grandchildren! You killed us! happens for a reason. Truly, he has done so many terrible things, but that doesn't change him. He is still who he is. But I could you believe they told him to sacrifice you? Sacrifice me? Yes. But he refused. He bluntly refused. Listen, madam. God is about to use your son for something great. But we need to bring him out from his bondage and save him first. And that's why we need your forgiveness now. Madam, please. Madam, remember, to end is human. But to forgive is divine. Madam, please. Please find a place in your heart to forgive your son, please. Will you bring us back? Please, Madam, forgive him. Will you bring us back? Hey, 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 hey,
Oh, 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 oh,